Hi everybody, it's Kristen. So this is going to be part one of the much anticipated <laughs> makeup room tour, collection video, that sort of thing. I've decided that I would split it into two because one, I wanted to show you. I've had a lot of people ask questions on lighting, setup, that sort of thing. And I actually have my room set up one way you know, 90% of the time. And then when we have company and this becomes a guest room, I have it set up another way. And I thought if somebody was going to look to kind of set up a room similarly to this, it might be helpful for me to show you kind of both setups. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and show you the setup as it is right now, which is my filming setup. And then I will put it all together and, you know what I mean, like put it together as if I was going to be having company over. Um, and I will show you that setup as well. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. Again, this is part one. Part two will absolutely be the collection video. Um, and yeah, so here we go. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what this room looks like kind of on an average day. And this is, I'm standing in the doorway. I have um, a little like a clothes hanger kind of thing here that I have necklaces on. That's a little project I need to handle and get rid of some of those that I don't wear, which is most of those. And then behind the doorway, I have a curtain rod that goes from there to there that I just have all of my scarves on. And that works, whoops. That works well for me currently. <laughs> I can kind of see them better that way than the old way. So, I have this screen up because right here, and again, this is filming, this is for filming setup. I have, we have these wooden doors, which is, this is the closet here, obviously. So the screen that I used to use behind me, I used to help block that because the wood will make things appear even more orange or yellow or that sort of thing. So I, because I film practically every day, sometimes it seems like that, but not every day, I just leave that up and I have my Alex six drawers right there next to it, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So this, on this side, this is my day bed. For those of you that have been around a while, you know it was like an ordeal. Um, the day bed I got at Ashley Furniture, and it has a trundle that pulls out from underneath there, and then pops up and makes either a king size bed or two twin size beds which I like for, you know, four different options. These little cubbies here I found at Ross down when I was visiting Emily. There's a vlog on that that's quite hysterical. The K I got at Hobby Lobby. These little things here are from Party Light, long time ago. Those are just the tops of two Marc Jacobs perfumes, yes. This little thing here is a really old perfume bottle from Paris that Sandy sent me. And then a little pop-up Paris thing, also that Sandy sent me at Christmas. This on the wall was a gift, this thing here. This little um, vase was also a gift from a friend. I'm still looking for something to put in it. And then that shelf is just a basic shelf. This I also got at Hobby Lobby. And then this, when I have the room set up for when I actually have guests, which I'll show you in a minute, that this goes in place of this chair. This chair comes out. Um, and this is a, was a gift from a sweet friend. It's a box. And then this is the picture of <laughs> me and Bob and Emily and Tyler when we went on our, we went on a little dinner cruise when we were down in Chicago. This dresser was mine growing up. It was painted white. Uh, when I moved out, my mom and dad gave it to me, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to take it in. So I took it to a place that refurbished furniture, and underneath the white paint was this beautiful wood. This mirror goes with it. I've had a lot of questions in the past about this mirror. You can see, apologize for seeing me, you can see all of this. That is just the mirror, just the age of the mirror, or the mirror showing its age. And I don't want to replace it. I could get it resilvered, but I'm not using it to look into generally. It's a nice beveled mirror, and I just want it to stay how it was. You know what I mean? I just want it to be how it is. So that's that. And the stuff on my, I mean, 
wedding picture with my family. And I honestly don't know where I got this. I used to put my perfumes on it until I found out that was a bad idea. Um, I got that candle from a sweet friend. I've got this actually is Emily's sister's art. Kelly Eddington is her name on a mirror and I just thought it was so pretty I wanted to sit out. This was a friend a gift from my friend Wendy. So I kind of have a little collection of those going. This also I just think this is so pretty I don't want it to sit in a drawer. This also is Kelly's art. Um, this is a sweet little box that holds I have my Joe Malone I can't get it open but I have my Joe Malone samples in there that Tammy sent to me. It's this little candle that Bob gave me on our wedding day and a cute little lamp that was a gift. So that is that and then over here, I have my Alex 9 drawer, my empties bin. In this corner, this is a bag that holds boxes of products. So as you guys know, I'm trying to be better about returning things if I don't like things. And then this is a, the start of a vlog sale. I'm working on it. So I have keep my foundations up here. In a little, this is a little turny thing. And this is one of my racks. That is another one of my racks. My nail polish racks, I only have two. And then this is my vanity. This mirror, I do not suggest. I don't like it in the slightest. It's a touch mirror, it's Con Air. Um, I can't stand the touch part of it. Every time I move it, like to move closer or whatever, it turns off the lights. Um, this little thing here I got off Holt Look. It's a three drawer, there's two separate pieces, a three drawer and then that top piece. And when I do my makeup collection, I will go over more what's in there um, on all of these things. These are currently mascaras that I'm working through, eyeliners, and my really cute, this is the cup that um, Shandy made for us when we, went to, when we all met in Chicago. And over here I just have some, you know, I'll go over that more. Up here are products that I need to try and work through. That, like, that I'm planning on doing a video on. Over here is the current brush situation. I have my shadow sticks and a cleaned out Bath and Body Works cup. This little container here I got at, I think Walmart maybe. It's kind of a leatherette feel. And that's what I put my brushes in after I use the face brushes that I use most often go in there. And then eye brushes after I've used them go in there. I wash my brushes once a week. This week I'm behind which is why there are so many. Um, because it was gone last weekend, so this is two weeks worth of brushes. But I use the face the face brushes I use most often go in there. Eye brushes after they're dirty, and then over here to my right is my six drawer, as I said, and this I got at TJ Maxx. I think about that for a minute. This little cup just holds the brushes that are too short and get lost in here. I don't love this. I thought that I would, and I don't. So. It turns, which is nice, but it just it looks messy to me. And even if I put stuff down in there, I don't know. I'm still working with it. So this is a lipstick holder that I got from Emily. And I think it came from Lady Moss, if I remember correctly. And this is a little, this little glass cup here I got for our wedding. And I have just kind of some of my fancier, higher-end lipsticks in it. And then this is a cleaned out Bath & Body Works candle cleaned up Bath and Body Works candle. So this I have pulled over in this L shape so that I can reach all of these drawers easily on a daily basis. Then down here, in case you're wondering what, what this is, I don't normally like things just out like this, but these are things that are waiting for video. So this is the Allure Beauty Box that you guys will see in a video tomorrow. And then the Glamour, the second installment of the Glamour Now kit from um, QVC. And then some other things that I want to show you. I think I'm going to put it all in one video. That'll be a bonus Sunday video. So that is how my room looks on a daily basis when I am just, you know, filming, doing my makeup and that sort of thing. Okay, I moved to the screen. And before I show you the rest, before I change the rest, I want to talk quickly about lighting. So these tree lights I got at Walmart. And actually way back when I first started filming, Lisa from SEO9 helped me out with you know inexpensive lighting so like tips on where I could buy it so there's I have one here you can see my front yard and then one here up here by the way this is a little hat that <laughs> my friend Chris and I had to wear for a little um, something or other and then these are the Emily has ones like these in pink 
They're real fun. Every once in a while we have to put them on, send a picture to each other. Ha! So anyway, that is what I use for filming. And the light bulbs, I just switched them out. I'm going to grab some out of my drawer here. And these are the light bulbs that I'm currently using. I That I just switched to and asked you guys in Thursday's video if you liked. I am playing around a little bit with how many of them to have on at a time when I'm filming. So you can see today I was filming a clip for a video that's coming up. Um, and I turned one off just to kind of see how it goes. But previously to that I was using reveal bulbs and I was using 60 watts and two here and then two on the other side. And then this, I should have mentioned this before, this is my tricky little lighting situation. This is a GE light stick and when I'm going to film I just put it on top of these things here and then I take it down when I'm not filming. Okay, so this is the setup when I'm going when we're going to be having company. You can see that it makes a lot more room here. And because this is on wheels, it's very simple for me to I literally just turned it. Move the lights out a little bit. And now we can either have the bed and so I take that thing there and I put it over here and we put the chair just in an, in another location or whatever that I, you know, that I normally use. I love this little thing. I got this also at TJ Maxx one day. I happened to find it. This little thing here, that's a tray that I use a lot to put products in, like my face of the day so that I have it all ready there to show you guys. So that, my friends, is the setup and kind of the little tour. This is just a closet that I have, you know, like summer dresses in in the winter and winter dresses in in the summer. Um, just some other randomy sort of things. So here's kind of a shot at the inside. It has all these really nice shelves. So I have my Bath and Body Works candles. Those are Bath and Body Works candles I need to clean out. This right here is every single card, letter, anything that anybody has ever sent to me. I, this closet kind of drives me a little bit crazy. Um, these are boxes that I can use to send stuff to people. This is all of my sports stuff or like community involvement t-shirts and stuff so that they're all kind of in the same. Like if I need to wear my Junior Achievement shirt or my Optimus shirt or whatever, those are kind of here so I know where they are. That's a blow-up mattress, queen-size blow-up mattress. This is extra storage things like Bath & Body Works candles I have cleaned out, um, which means I'll probably recycle some of these because how many does one girl need? Extra organizing and drawer things. Same thing over here. I just recently cleaned everything out. That was a turnabout from Pamper Chef that I had that I was using for my brushes. But I don't like to get rid of or throw most of those things because I might change my mind. You just never know. On the other side of the day bed, so here's the window. Here's the other side. I have this box right here, and this houses my perfume since it's like the, what does um, Rachel call it, the crypt? So that houses my perfumes, and it also... I don't know why I left this in here, because I felt like I should. I don't know. This is my little Mama K thing. <laughs> That's the story. Anyway, so that is that is what I have for perfume backup. I've done pretty well at using up my perfumes. This one, as well as the one in the red flowers on the other side, I think I found at TJ Maxx. This cabinet, first of all, this dresser scarf that I love so much was my great-grandmother's. This cabinet my dad made for me a very long time ago. Um, storage cubes that I can't decide what to do with. And let me just show you what's in here. So in here I keep my nail stuff. I have another little nail caddy that goes right here. I have lashes, nothing, and like organizing things like the magnets that go with different things, extra brush cards. Um, labels, that sort of thing, magnets. These are empty blush palettes from MAC. A couple of extra cups. This brush needs to be fixed, which is why it's in here. It's loose. This is makeup products that are still sealed that I can donate. And the cutest makeup bag ever. <laughs> Emily sent that to me. And then down here, prepare yourselves. This is... I have some cotton balls. I have my Tarte blushes that I depotted. I, I kept the containers. Brushes that I'm not using. I don't want this to fall over. But I just kind of turned this into a drawer by putting that little thing there. And then this is empty. I got these. Oh no, this has an extra MAC palette and an extra Z palette. That's right. 
This has samples. That's where all my samples are housed. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little tour around my makeup room slash extra guest room. Um, if you have any questions, list them below. I will get do my best to get back to you. I'll try to list any information that I have on anything that I showed, you know, kind of below, um, or I hopefully I will have, you know, explained that enough in the video for you. But I really hope that you enjoyed this. If you are curious about what is on my face, I have the Chanel Pro Le Mer as my foundation on my eyes today. I have the Guerlain Quad in um, Le Cures. Like that, looks like that. For blush today, I have the Rouge Bunny Rouge in Orpheline. Orf I'll have it listed below. And then, oh, I already stuck it in my pocket. The For lipstick today, I have the Tarte um, Lip Surgeons in Flashy. And I think that should about cover. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.